All right, today we have a Tenma 72-320 dual channel, 20 megahertz oscilloscope. Uh, I've got uh, some of these in storage and uh, about to uh, sell a couple, donate one, and uh, need to get everything working here. So what we're going to do is check this one out. Uh, I've got the uh, probe for my Tektronix TDS320 hooked up to it. Uh, it'll be close enough to do the job. So we're going to power on and wait until it warms up. There we go. All right, so we've got a trace on the screen. And let's see here. Oh, looks like we may have a case of uh, dirty controls here. That's still going to be troublesome. I'm going to have to check that out. Voltage display is working correctly. Let's turn that uh, brightness down just a little bit. We're able to vary the time base, so that part's working. Great. All right, so what we need to do is uh, open this scope up, clean the controls, clean up the faceplate, and uh, go through a few more checks on it. I'm going to think that uh, these scopes will work, so we'll be back to you in uh, just okay. a moment. So we're back. We've got the scope open, and we can see the controls that are in it. What we're going to do is uh, spray the uh, switches and potentiometers with uh, contact cleaner and see if we can uh, get some of these controls to... Uh, behave properly. Just spray them liberally with contact cleaner and then rotate them through their uh, range of motion. You want to make sure you get that contact cleaner on all the contacts and uh, get it worked back and forth so that uh, it has the opportunity to do the cleaning that it needs to do. Now you do want to make sure the contact cleaner that you use is safe for plastic. Uh, a lot of these contact cleaners, uh, unless they say specifically that they don't harm plastics, uh, there's a uh, chance that they can uh, tear your plastics up and uh, you don't want to see that. Alright, we are making some progress here. Now, of course, when you're in this scope, you want to make sure it's unplugged. And you uh, also want to make sure that uh, you stay out of the high voltage section. Um, you wouldn't want to get shocked. Uh, it's not a great experience to have that happen. Uh, I have not been shocked because I'm always pretty careful. But... Uh, you get into high voltage, you're probably only going to do it maybe one time. It's, uh, from what I understand, uh, either not great or uh, it's lethal. So, either way, you don't want to be involved in that. All right. I think we're uh, making some progress here. All right, well, we're going to put everything back together uh, and then uh, see how it's working. So uh, we'll be back in uh, okay. just a moment. Back. We've uh, 
Finished cleaning all these switches and contacts uh, on the front panel. You don't want to mess with the ones that are uh, internal to the unit. Uh, you'll throw it out of calibration and uh, it can be a real bear to get it back in calibration without the correct test equipment. And what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, turn the scope on and uh, see if we've uh, corrected the noisy contact issues in the switches uh, and if we get the uh, correct display on the screen. So we'll just wait for the uh, display to warm up here. There we go. Let's go ahead and turn the uh, intensity up just a little bit. Alright, and it looks like we are getting a, uh, a good display here. Now, uh, if you'll notice, uh, where it slopes off on the ends, uh, that can be fixed through uh, probe compensation, but uh, this probe is already set for my TDS320, so uh, I'm not going to mess with uh, doing any compensation on it. Uh, also, when you go to uh, ground display, if your trace is not uh, even across the center reticle, then uh, you can use the trace rotation to correct that. Go ahead and go back to DC display. This is the uh, one we were having trouble with earlier, and as you can see, it's stabilized quite a bit. AC works well as well. We can select our voltage, lock in our signal. So that's doing well there. We can change our volt or uh, time per division. And there we go. Controls do get a little touchy as you go. All right. So it looks like this scope is working just fine. So we'll go ahead and clean the face plate up on this one and uh, get it ready to send out. And uh, we'll go from there. So I hope this video has been informative. And uh, if you've liked what you've seen, uh, go ahead and hit like. Uh, make sure to share and subscribe. And I uh, hope you have a great evening. Thank you.